Sports fans. Are you looking for consistency in your game? How consistent is your mental routine? The routines that you go through before you hit the shot? Hmm, maybe the tick game is for you. Okay, so you're wanting to become more consistent. I go out in the golf course all the time with people in playing assessments or in pro-ams and there's two statements they say to me all the time. Number one is, oh, if only I could be more consistent. And then they get, oh, this game's all in my head. And it's like, okay, and I've been out there watching them play golf and what I'm watching is they're expecting consistency in their golf swing, but you're a human being and we can never do the same thing two times in a row. Particularly something as complex as a golf swing, there's always things that are different in our body and moving differently. It's just way too hard. But I watch what they do before the shot or after the shot, during in between shots, and there's no consistency to that at all. That's something that you are far more in control of in terms of the questions you ask, say, when you get to the ball. So I've got a little game for you. It's called the Tick Game. I've learned this, adapted this from a few different people over time. Dr. Carl Morris was one. Uh, but also people at the AIS Institute of Sport here in Australia used to do this as well. I can't remember exactly who that was. It was a long time ago. But I call it the tick game because what I want you to do, the next game of golf you go out and play, is before you tee off, I want you to decide on what I consider a useful question that you want to ask before every shot. So it might be as simple as, what would a good shot look like from here? It could be a putt, it could be a chip, it could be a bunker shot, it could be a shot out of the trees, it could be a tee shot, it could be anything. But that's a very useful question to ask on every single shot that you'll actually have in a round of golf. The first thing you do, you get out of the buggy or you get onto the green and you ask yourself, what would a good shot look like from here? A good shot for you might be different than everyone else and that's fine. But that one question, if you just make sure that you ask that before every single shot for this hole that you're playing, then what you get is a tick at the end of the game. So just in the, you know, the column on the scorecard, you can put a little tick next to the first hole because you did it the four times because you hit four shots on the first hole. And I ask that question every time, I get a tick. And then you get to the second hole and you do it on the first one and then you get a bit distracted by a playing partner and before you know it, you've hit your second shot and you forgot. But then you do it on the next three shots for that hole, but sorry, you don't get a tick for that. You have to do it on every single shot for the hole. So now you've got a tick on the first, you've got a cross on the second, or just nothing. Just put nothing down and be fine as well. And then you keep doing that every single hole. So the goal is 18 ticks. If you can come off at the end of a round of golf and you've got 18 ticks, then you have done what you tried to achieve mentally that day. You went, right, I want to get into my routine, my process, my system, a consistent question to get your focus and attention on what it needs to be on, on every single shot. This is what mental training for golf is, right? It's not rocket science, but it's something that we have to do consistently. Number one, we've got to work out what kind of question are we asking? Are we asking a good one or is it a, like a useful question or is it a useless question? So when you're standing over the ball and you're thinking about, you know, oh, have I got the right club here or am I aiming at the right time? You're too late. You're asking the question at the wrong time. That needs to be done in preparation beforehand. So these are things that you can start to build into your process, your routine, we call it in golf, before you hit the shot. So my reading and planning routines, read, plan, do, and then review afterwards, it's all about a routine a system to help you to get consistent thoughts, the mental side of the game, and therefore hopefully your scores will reflect that as well. So if you can get 18 ticks in a round of golf, you're doing really well. Then what you want to do is you want to do that for like three rounds in a row. By the time you get to that point, that one question of what would a good shot look like here is pretty much ingrained into your head. It might take you 15 rounds of golf to do that, to actually get 18 ticks, but by the time you get to there, boy, that is going to be such an ingrained habit. It's going to be a great question to ask. You're going to have your focus in the right spot all the time, and you are going to be a very mentally strong golfer. All right, so I challenge you to do that. Share with me. Put it anywhere. Wherever you're seeing this, reply there's a way to reply to me and you i'm more than happy for you to just keep sending me i got 12 out of 18 i got three out of 18 i got 18 out of 18 my rounds of golf i'm more than happy for you to share that with me and just to give you an insight first time i ever tried to do this as a professional golfer when i got introduced to this i only got what did i get three out of 18 i was very harsh on myself but i was very honest and went no i forgot then and then and what that showed me was that I was getting distracted very easily and 
I then started working on this and it took me, I think it took me about six months of playing full-time golf on tour before I got 18 ticks. And then I was like, wow, look at that. But one of the funny things is when I first got 18 ticks, I didn't have that good a score. What happened was I actually had two or three over par and as a professional golfer, that's not very good. That's not going to win you any money doing anything. But I walked off the game of golf and I kind of thought, you know what, I did everything pretty well there and I was pretty in control of my thoughts. Why didn't the score add up? And then I went, oh, I actually got pretty unlucky today. I got some pretty bad bounces and bad breaks and I wouldn't have made my decisions any different and, you know, well, that's the score I had. But the other interesting thing was there was a time beforehand where I got 15 ticks and I had a course record seven under par. So there was three opportunities out there where I forgot to ask the question I want to ask and I got lucky and the ball bounced off a tree, came back in the fairway, all that kind of stuff. And so what it allowed me to do mentally was to just control my emotions a bit more. Acceptance was a big thing. I was able to accept that I did everything I could that day that I was in control of and I was able to let go of the things I wasn't in control of. And so it's just leveled out my emotions in a big way. It's taken me, took me quite a few years to get to that point where I could do that every single time. And now I just, they're so ingrained my, my habits, my routines, that it just happens automatically. And I, I, my emotions are very much in control of the game of golf all the time. Hopefully this helps you. If it does, tick, you know, click like, subscribe, send it to your friends, just get it out there. I'd love to share that with anyone. So good luck with it all. Let me know how the tick game goes for you and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.